Welcome back students. We all know the lung is a very important organ involved in ventilation. The first step of respiration is ventilation. Today's session is on alveolar ventilation. The objectives of the session, at the end of the session, the student should be able to define minute wall ventilation, alveolar ventilation, dead space, maximum voluntary ventilation and breathing reserve. Describe measurement of dead space and the principles of diffusion. This comes under the competency 6.2. What is minute ventilation? The amount of ventilation that is happening in the lung per minute. It is otherwise called as pulmonary ventilation. Minute ventilation is the volume of air inspired or expired in one minute. It is equal to tidal volume into respiratory rate. The normal respiratory rate is between 12 to 16 per minute. The tidal volume is the volume of air we breathe in and out during any normal respiratory cycle. It is around 500 ml. The minute ventilation calculates to 6 liters per minute. The range is from 6 to 7.5 liters per minute because the respiratory rate is variable. There can be slight changes in the tidal volume also. What is the purpose of this minute ventilation? The purpose of this minute ventilation is to provide air for gas exchange. Around 6 liters of air is entering into the lungs every minute. Is the whole volume of 6 liter available for gas exchange or the volume is little less? This is what we are going to discuss today. Coming to dead space, the volume of air that fills the conducting zone of the respiratory passage where gas exchange does not occur. Which area of the respiratory passage gas exchange does not occur? You have the trachea branching into the right and the left main bronchus which again divides into progressive branches. Okay, You have 23 generations of branching. In this 23 generations up to 16 you call as conducting zone and beyond 16 up to 23, 16 to 23 you call as respiratory zone. We all know this. Okay. The anatomical dead space is the air in the conducting zone. That means the air that is occupied in the respiratory passage from the nose till the 16th generation of branching will be your anatomical dead space. The volume of this space is around 150 ml. Is there any variation in the anatomical dead space? Of course, yes, you have physiological variation. In males, the volume of anatomical dead space is little higher than the female. As age advances, the dead space volume also tends to increase. With increase in height, there is a change in the anatomical dead space. There is increase in the anatomical dead space. What is alveolar dead space? The volume of air in the alveoli that does not take part in the gas exchange due to no blood flow or little blood flow in the surrounding pulmonary capillaries. We all know that you have the alveoli. Surrounding the alveoli, you have the capillaries. Yes, these capillaries will be carrying the venous blood once get it, it is getting oxygenated, the oxygenated blood will be entering into the heart. The oxygenation occurs at the area where the alveoli comes in contact with the pulmonary capillaries. This we all know. Okay. So, some alveoli will not have adequate blood flow in the surrounding pulmonary capillaries. In such alveoli, whatever air is there is not going to be oxygenated. You call that as wasted ventilation. We all know anatomical dead space is the volume of air that is occupied in the conducting zone. Now, in the respiratory zone, you have certain alveoli which is not having adequate blood supply. You call that as alveolar dead space. 
what is physiological dead space the volume of air in the non functional or partially functional alveoli along with the anatomical dead space you call as physiological dead space in normal condition the anatomical dead space and the physiological dead space will be equal there are certain pathological conditions where the alveoli is not going to participate in the active gas exchange either due to damage of the alveoli or due to damage of the blood vessels or some abnormality in the pulmonary blood flow such conditions the anatomical dead space and physiological dead space will not be equal there will be inequality between the anatomical and the physiological dead space the conditions are emphysema bronchiectasis and pulmonary embolism what is alveolar ventilation the rate at which air reaches the gas exchange area which is the gas exchange area it is the respiratory zone of the branching okay so you have the respiratory bronchioles where you have the alveoli there only gas exchange is going to occur now we know there is one segment of the lung where you have something called as dead space this dead space volume of air is not going to participate in gas exchange so of the total tidal volume if we subtract this dead space volume the rest only is going to be reaching the alveoli so va is alveolar ventilation this is equal to the respiratory rate into tidal volume vt minus the volume of dead space that is vd so you get 350 ml of air entering into the alveoli during each respiratory cycle in a minute you have 12 to 14 respiratory cycles therefore the total alveolar ventilation per minute will be 4200 ml 